Good Sunday morning to you. It's uh, about 10.30 in the morning and it's already 97 and a half degrees. Uh, today we are due for something in the 100 teens, but uh, it's the weekly update and let's just see what things are looking like. We did set off the sprinklers this morning again. It's not part of the regular schedule, but with this heat we tend to run the standard program every day when it gets like this just to keep things from just all dying. Um, so, I mean, everything's looking pretty green. Uh, I did some cleaning up this week. Uh, there is a midweek video. Look at the plumeria. That is looking really nice. Uh, so after the weeding, some of these are empty. <laughs> um, and we'll work our way over to this area here. I can hear the pool pump running, but not the air conditioner. That's a whole other story. I did flip this one around just, I don't know, just for a variety. Um, we've got the cucumber plant, which is a lot of the leaves seem to be dying, and I've been trying to hit it with a lot of water in hopes that that would help. There goes the air conditioner. And we got the one cucumber right there. We'll let that one grow. Um, I got to get water on these. Uh, working our way over. There were issues here with the bean plants and, oh, and there's a little salamander or lizard or whatever you call it. Hello. Um, I had an ant problem here and they were, the evidence was they were all over, kind of like you can see here. There was a lot of them on the stem, even more than that, all over the place. I've tried various different things and it looks like ultimately just blasting them off water and then hitting the leaves with fertilizer kind of discouraged it a bit and then I got this side of the plant which still has ants on it also with insecticidal soap and I'm still seeing them so I think just water is the program um, but we'll come back to that or rather I'll come back to that um, I'll deal with that in a little bit I gotta get water on these plants the sort of midday watering even after setting off the sprinklers in the morning because like here this is the the big tomato plant and some of this is curled up I think it's just age because there are some healthier looking leaves up on here so I don't think it's that bad uh, but I mean I'm also now I'm looking at the basil and I've got all these things I've got to pick so I got a bunch of stuff to do it's hot and I'm struggling here but ultimately the garden is surviving I'm gonna keep water on it and we'll see by next week's update where we are on all of this uh, I did want to show you it does look like I've got a couple of little sprouts and this is more of the cherry pick pepper I just put into these little containers here these were seeds I harvested from the peppers I got off of this plant and I really like these and I got a bunch of them on a plant they just haven't turned color yet so I'm gonna grow more plants and just enjoy more of them uh, tomatoes take up a lot of room so right now we'll just stick to what we got um, oh there we go we got a sprout in the uh, nasturtium so that's the old plant that died and seeds from that plant so I'm happy it lives on in a younger form so anyway, that's, you know, kind of gardening for you. You get heat waves and you deal with it. And, but then you keep planting. I mean, you're going to lose stuff, so you plant new seeds. If you can harvest seeds from your plants, you can have them live on. And that's a good feeling, uh, to not just completely lose it all and have something to look forward to when these things sprout. So with that, this is the Budget Gardener signing off, saying stay home, stay safe, do what you can to help with this pandemic. Uh, the science does bear it out. Wearing a mask is important. Um, folks, for those that are not understanding, it's not about you, it's about the people around you. Wear your mask to protect the people you care about. And with that, Budget Gardener signing off, saying may your thumb be green.